1985. Stop that. Biohazard movie. Um, a Fred Olin Ray movie. Mm -hmm. So Fred Olin Ray, aka the fabulous Freddie Valentine. Director of Evil Tunes. Evil Tunes. The uh, the cult classic. That is awful. Is it a cult classic? People know about it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. This here movie is about uh, aliens, <laughs> and it it opens with a a very long trip through the desert. Yeah, a long, unfortunate trip through the desert towards a base where they're getting lost. Yeah. Apparently, on this one road through the desert. <laughs> it's like Manos Hands of Fate long. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, but you do meet the main character, whose name is Carter. Mm -hmm. And him and Hodgson are driving along. They're looking for the base. Mm -hmm. Talking about nothing much. And meanwhile, there's a man with a Geiger counter walking this different plot line going on. Yeah. Developing. Cut to Lisa. Yeah. The psychic scientist. Lisa? Next card, please. The sun. The card is the sun. You're right. You're right again. She, she's not a scientist. No. She's just some psychic lady in a wig. <laughs> a really bad wig. Super bad wig. Cheap ass wig. Which, damn it, I didn't even look up that actress's name. Yeah. Angelique Pettyjohn. Angelique Pettyjohn. She has this weird uh, combination of like normal things and then really weird things like this movie called Clam Bake. <laughs> but then she was in like Star Trek for an episode and The Odd Couple. Yeah, she's a working actress. <laughs> she definitely, I think, was probably showing off her boobs a lot. Yeah. Which are weird. Anyway. <laughs> But yeah, there's the military big wigs that are there that I guess they're checking in on their money, you yeah. know, that they spent on whatever this dumbass project is they're doing <laughs> out in the middle of the desert, which mm -hmm. they sort of don't really explain at all. You mean you can reach into another world, grasp an object, and bring it back here to this lab? Well, in a roundabout way, that's exactly what we're doing. Now we're to the doctor struggling with lines. We're not really sure if this guy was like really on set at all he definitely was not for well he did some scenes with lisa mm -hmm. but most of his scenes were obviously pickup shots because he's in them by himself and the conversation seems unnatural yeah very while i'm sure miss martin does not view herself as any sort of freak she does possess keen psychic impulses of an extraordinary manner. Then they put, they plop a, a helmet on the Lisa. Yes. Some sort of psychic link that happens. There's a lot of really stupid imagery, right? Just the one. Just the, the fake space painting. And then that guy like gets electrocuted. The Geiger counter guy. No one knows he died. And also, that's the last you hear or see of this. They don't ever, like, that's say what I'm saying. anything about him Like, dying. why was yeah. this in this movie? Just to get some gore in there early on, because they, they had a lot of exposition. To say that she had some sort of power or something, yeah. I don't know. So, the little, uh, little statue. <laughs> Maybe there's another one of these inside. <laughs> Maybe there's another one of these inside. An exciting little statue on top of space luggage. Space luggage. Which is apparently <laughs> housing our monster. Yeah. That we'll find out about soon. In a cardboard box. I don't know if that one was cardboard or not. Yeah. That one looked better than the ones in later. Like the big cargo thing. That looked fine. Yeah. But what's inside of it is that cardboard and duct tape piece That's of crap. That's part of it. Prop. Yeah. Because the alien's also in there apparently. Yeah. So, I don't know if that was just a thing housing alien pod babies. I don't know. I don't either. 
There's really not a lot of points to this movie. It's a terrible it, story. It doesn't like ever explain much I, of anything. So, I think they probably built the suit before they wrote. You the always script. say that. <laughs> you say that with every single one of these movies. The story. Yeah, but I don't I'm understand saying. why you would make a suit for no reason. What did they like? Just find it in the trash somewhere, and they're like, "Oh." So they, maybe they just said. I want to do an alien movie. And so they made the suit. After. And then they wrote the script. You figured it out! Give yourself some... Uh... <laughs> Government takes the mystery cargo. Mm -hmm. Or and they, they try to, anyway. They leave the compound in a small convoy. And... Yep. Then someone dies. Yep. Cliff. Yeah, Cliff, Cliff did not want to get into the back of the truck. With the cargo box, for whatever reason. Well, what's in there, anyways? It's Randolph's steamer trunk. Don't look like no trunk to me. Jesus, Cliff, you got a gun? But his instinct was correct because he did die. Now the thing is on the loose. Now the thing is on the loose. And it's a. Uh running around the desert, I guess, on this base. Yes. <clears throat> no one seems to care. <laughs> they are all concerned about making their flights. Yeah, they don't, they're that's, just sort of like, well, it. I want to leave, and I don't really care what you got going on here, so just get me into my flight. Look, I'm sorry, gentlemen, but I'm going to have to take you back to the lab to report this. I understand your concern, Mr. Carter, but uh, we're important people, too, and we're expected somewhere else. And people... Don't behave correctly ever at all in this movie, actually. No, not really. Because, well, the doctor's angry. He's the only one, though. <laughs> bad, bad lines doctor guy. Yeah, he's really struggling with those lines. Perhaps it's because he's the only person on set. Yeah, Because could be. he's, he's obviously not with anybody else. What did they say? Well, Randolph and Rieger have already gone back. Now, I am to stay here and quietly locate and destroy the thing. You can't do that! Still. This is still the opening of the movie. And it's like... It's really long. It's a half hour into it. And only one thing has really happened. Yeah. But Carter and Lisa are at Lisa's house. And they're eating dinty more beef stew. Okay. <laughs> so, they're eating stew. It's real gross looking. Um, and then, all of a sudden... They're making out. They're making out, and then you see weird boobs that are not good. Yeah. <coughs> uh, the phone rings, and Lisa gets up, and her boobs are just hanging out of this bra that is way too small for her, it looks like. She's just bursting out of that bra, and it's gross. Yeah, it's just, they're not good boobs. Yeah. Truly really is what it is. <laughs> um. Hodgson's on the phone. He's admitting that he stole something from the alien cargo. Mm -hmm. And it's the piece of shit duct tape cardboard. Yeah, it's the best prop. <laughs> it's she just. Did not try. Duct tape. At all. all. Like around a jar and a box, and it's spray painted kind of goldish. Was it supposed to be like metal? Like they really put no effort into that whatsoever. That was supposed to be metal for sure. That's the sort of prop you make if you're shooting your movie on a camcorder. That's the kind of props I make for this show when I'm like, oh shit, I have an hour to make stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right. And we when only need this for... When we've put off making two stuff for the end gag for three weeks yeah. and we have to do it immediately. That's the stuff I would make, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so they're like, okay, we can't bang, I guess, even though we don't know each other and who knows why that was even happening in the first place. Ah, uh, yeah, who knows. They're on their way to Hodgson's to help them out. Yeah, and meanwhile... Cut to... Whoever they are. Those other people. The, the other people I guess they live who on, are in the movie. Yeah, I guess they live die. on the base, I suppose. Yeah, I think the everybody that is, lives in that town probably works at the base in some... Uh, anyway, he's enough. got like a bunch of boxes in his garage and he's... He's tinkering. Tinkering on something. And he goes in and sees his wife in the bathtub and... There's more boobs. There's more boobs. Which are also aren't the best. <laughs> uh, she, she's in. There's a giant bottle of dish soap. Yeah, it looks like top. a giant bottle of dish soap. She's just bathing in dish soap. And uh, we find out the guy's name is 
Roger just yes. crawls in the tub with his cruise ass shoes and then immediately gets out of the tub. The plot to this movie is trash! Um, and then he went back to his garage and then Alien gets him. Rubber Monster kills him, makes a really stupid noise. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's a pretty bad uh, rubber costume. It's not great. It's, I mean, there's definitely worse out there. Yeah. <laughs> Night Beast. <laughs> uh, what I don't know. Night Beast, awesome. is <laughs> Night Beast is great. <laughs> a better quality costume than that, I think. I don't know. Oof. That, that thing's face is rough. It looks like Carrot Top a little bit. <laughs> Carrot Top now. <laughs> That's what Carrot Top is slowly turning into. Yeah. Night Beast. It's good for him. Carrot Top's got to do something. <laughs> <laughs> May as well slowly morph into Night Beast. Might as well become a Night Beast. <laughs> good for you, Carrot Top. All right. Um, so he lady. dies, yeah. and then Bath Lady comes out. Finds his body. It's good gore. I think there's there's pretty decent gore in the movie. Yeah, it's alright. Low budget gore. Yeah. It's not the worst. And then she dies too. Yeah. Okay. Rubber monster drools on her. Mm hmm She screams. We don't see her die. No, but she does. Yeah. Alright. So Carter and Lisa go to Hodgson's. Hodgson's. And uh, to look at the duct tape cardboard crud, which apparently is growing in size. For some reason, like right. it grew an inch, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because Carter's like, all right, everybody stand back. I'm going to try and hammer this back to size. Yeah. And, and then, then he just hits it with the handle of the hammer. Which then it the immediately starts yeah. releasing some sort of gas. Step back. Cover your faces. Cause yeah, smarts. and uh, a really bad prop comes out of it. Yeah, a tiny little worm beast. <laughs> a tiny little worm beast. <laughs> <laughs> Breaks out of the jar, and then it flies. Flies at Hodgson. And bites him. Yeah. Yeah. Slits his throat wide open. Mm -hmm. Does he live? I don't think he... No, no he, he dies. He dies. Um... And then a tiny person in that alien costume runs through the yard, and it's funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bums are making barbecue. I put two hobos cooking rats on a fire. <laughs> <laughs> and some guy of the dog shows up. Mm -hmm. um, <sighs> Do you want to know all their names? Oh, you wrote them. Albert and Fred. Albert and Fred. Are the hobos cooking rats? And Jimmy and Ranger are the guy and the dog. The guy and his dog. Mm -hmm. um, and then they give Jimmy some meat. In exchange for some booze, right? It was implied it yeah. that he would. Uh, and then they tell him they get their meat from the pond. And this grosses this man out. A lot. To, he had to go run away and puke by a tree. Alien shows up. Well, uh, Jimmy's puking. Mm -hmm. Wait, that's his name. Yep. Yep. And I don't know. He just scares everyone away. I don't they know. all run off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, because it's implied that the alien kills the dog, even though the dog looks really happy to see the yeah, alien. Yeah, the dog just all like <laughs> cool with whatever. Yeah. Um. Now um, the old couple in the car mm -hmm. driving down the road. Ranger's daughter, hairy beast, rab H's teenage blonde. <laughs> I know just how she feels. I lived with you for 20 years. Slow down. How many times have I... <sighs> they hit the little monster. Mm -hmm. Lisa senses it in a two-second cut. Mm -hmm. Just to remind you that Lisa's in the movie, apparently. Ah! Oh, my, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And that's it for the old people for now. We go back to Hodgson's house where it's a crime scene now. Mm -hmm. Now, some medical Nothing. examiner says, hey, don't touch that thing, biohazard. Hey, don't touch that thing, biohazard. Yeah, which I believe is the director. Yeah. Actually. Ah, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter. This movie's short. 
minutes. Hour and 14 minutes. And it feels very rushed. So like, at the time, what was out? What is this, 85? Is that what it was? I don't know, I threw the paper. I have it written down. I didn't throw my paper. I always throw these. 1985, yeah. So what's out around then? I mean, there's like an E.T. joke later in the movie. Right. I don't know, Top Gun, Ghostbusters. Really? 85? 84, maybe. Wow. All uh, right, old drunk guy calls the cops mm -hmm. about the alien he has. And then the main characters also show up there. Yes. To their house. Randomly. Yeah. And then no one sees this alien and they think the drunk guy's full of shit. Yes, they do. But the alien's not dead. No. No. It's not in there. That is, it's just the, hiding. The sheriff goes to look, and he comes back up and he's like, there's nothing in there. And he goes, what? Mm -hmm. Jack, there ain't a damn thing down there. What? Then the old man goes down there and he dies. Yep. Okay. Oh, the best scene in the movie comes up next. Yes. Hobo in a dumpster. Hobo in a dumpster. Should have been George Buck Flowers, probably, but it wasn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't write the name of the guy who actually played the part. But it should have been George Buck Flowers. There's a bad E.T. poster joke. I wonder who threw him away. Oh, we'll just hang him up here so folks can see him. Uh, the monster shows up. Grandma pinches the old man to death. Mm -hmm. Takes the E.T. poster and rips it up, right? That's yeah, pretty well much he it. rips it up and stomps on it. Yeah. So somebody really hated E.T., I guess. So now they have to go to the the showdown location, which I don't know what that is. It's just like some cruddy basement. It's got a lot of <clears throat> random stuff in there. Like there's hair salon chairs, but there's also all this industrial stuff. Yeah, so who knows what fucking weird place they found yeah, the this in. And that disgusting little short man that's always smacking his gum in his mouth <laughs> is in there. I don't remember his name at all. Rieger. I used to level entire villages in one of these. Mm-hmm. Women and children first. Shut up, Kaya. What's the matter, Rieger? Still can't sleep at night? Okay. There's a... There's a Ruger? Or wait, who was that other guy's name? Carter? No, the one that died. By the little worm creature. Hodgson? Oh, Hodgson, okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. There's Rieger and Carter had a Luger. Yeah, okay. Um... <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really want this one to be over. <laughs> like, I, I wrote down, Rieger dies of plagiarism. Oh, yeah. Do you know why? Face hugger. Yeah. Like, just flat out, that is a face hugger. This movie is, like, wrapped up at this point. Yeah, basically. Like, virtually nothing happens in this movie, except a little... They run around a dark neighborhood, look for the alien that kills yeah, people. Yeah, and this people. little rubber costume is just running around that's like all that happens it kind of reminds me almost of like playing in a neighborhood when you're you know like 10 mm -hmm. and it's like night the movie like kind of feels like that because nothing is really getting accomplished nothing happens in this movie and they're just sort of running around yeah and going oh my god look what happened here look what happened anyway the thing that makes it funny are the occasional alien scenes because the alien is this guy's like five feet tall. Yeah. Whoever is in this costume. And it just kind of jumps out of nowhere and, you know. Right. But it, it, that's it's, it. It's just like... It's like 50s schlock. So that facehugger thing, I thought, looked like a combination between shrimp and an <laughs> earwig. Like, they were such piss poor, like, like a quarter of actual facehugger. Yeah. But that's exactly what they were going for. So another face hugger thing latches onto Carter, mm -hmm. and then Carter just shoots it off his shoulder. Oh, that's right. He just puts a gun right next to yeah. his own head yes. and shoots it shoots off. Shoots it off. Like yeah. your ear wouldn't be severely damaged <laughs> from that or anything. Now the big reveal happens, which is Lisa rips her chest open. And she's an alien. Yeah. She was planted there. The creature 
was our soldier designed to fight our wars, and it is a success. Yeah, um, and Carter breaks the fourth wall, looks at the camera, and goes, "Well, that's it." Yep, and, and the then credits it ends. I think that's it. There's a cool rockabilly song. Mm -hmm. Some bloopers. And that's the end of that. Yeah, it's entirely watchable. It's a good time. I wouldn't, uh, I don't know if I'd recommend it, but I wouldn't discourage anybody from watching it either. Yeah, so that's the thing. Um, we haven't really been recommending or not recommending. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Would I recommend it? Kind of. It's sort of fun. It's a cult classic. People are aware of Biohazard. Yeah. So, I mean, watch it. Fred it's... Olin Ray, he, he did evil tunes and the, he did some other schlocky things that, that are kind of known. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what they are at the moment, but he did them. <laughs> it, you know, cool. See it. Check yeah. it off the list. You've seen it. Alrighty, the second movie, which I love a lot. Night Beast. Night Beast is super great. I've seen some other reviews of this movie where people are like, it's boring. I don't think it's boring at all. I love this movie. I think it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. And I would recommend this movie strongly. And here's why. Let us tell you about Night Beast by Don Dolor. Don Dolor. You've probably seen the excellent riff tracks of Galaxy Invader. Mm. And where's the round thing? Oh, the green man jumped me. They must have took the thing. What do you mean it took the thing? How in the hell could you let it do that? Same director, writer, producer, Don Dolor. He may not be great, but he's fantastic. I love him. I'm glad he existed. I'm going to cut that line out. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> uh, this is the Lloyd Kaufman Presents kind of deal. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, the opening scene is great because it is crappy miniatures. It and is. I am a fan of crappy miniatures. <laughs> and it gets right to it. Yeah. We don't have to drive around the <laughs> desert for 20 minutes. Man, that is one of the things I really appreciate about Night Beast. They don't fuck around. No. They just... This is crash landing. They start and they go. So, crash landing of crappy little miniature shit. Yeah. It's crap. It's so good. It explodes <clears throat> for a really long time. Yeah. <laughs> It blows up way more than it ever yeah. should. I mean, like 15 seconds, which doesn't sound like a long time, but when something's exploding on screen, you're like, wow, this is really taking a while yes. to happen. And then our glorious, googly eyes, pig snout, snaggle tooth, little <laughs> ridiculous alien monster emerges. And it's awesome. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and... Man, so there's some campers nearby, and they're like, holy crap. What's that? We heard a ruckus. <laughs> Let's go see what it's all about. Uh-huh. <clears throat> um, and then, meanwhile, <laughs> we're uh, introduced to our main character, uh, Jack. Yeah. Who is... Sheriff Perm. The dumpiest... <laughs> Permiest. Permiest old disco <laughs> stew guy you'd ever want to see. Mm -hmm. um, oh, God. <laughs> He's magnificent. He's got a great mustache and yeah. everything. His posture uh... is postures great. <laughs> I approve of it. <laughs> he has also seen the explosion <clears throat> from a distance. Or did he hear of it? Or Maybe he, someone like came somebody in and told called him. it. Or yeah. Some, yeah. He's aware of it. He's made aware of it. Deputy Pete shows up in the car. He's like, hey, did you see that? Blah, blah, blah. Everybody in town. Because it's a small knows town. About this yeah. Because they instantly form a posse to go check it out. They do. And you don't even, they so instantly form it, you don't even you don't, see them form it. <laughs> you don't it. even realize <laughs> that it's happened 
<laughs> until Night Beast is killing everybody, and you're like, how many fucking people are at this location right yeah. now? Yeah, you keep getting wit. We must have had too much coffee. Okay. <laughs> so, the other thing is he calls Deputy Lisa. Hello? That's important, because mm -hmm. she's our other main character, essentially. Even though he doesn't want to, because she's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> She's a woman. Oh no. Damn. <laughs> women. Anyway. Uh, that's when they kind of like cut to Night Beast. Yeah. <laughs> immediately jumping out in his disco suit and shooting everyone. Yeah, the campers. The campers are goners. They've gotten there first. They're the first to go. Yeah. And they, they go out in a blaze of crappy glory. Yeah, just the. Uh, pew pew little laser effects and, and some stars form yeah, around them like, in a glow. Yeah, they're like animated, I think, maybe. Yeah, they've got the, uh, the show enough glow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of the <laughs> campers is has left a cartoonish outline oh, yeah, that's great. of himself in ashes. Ash, yes. What the hell is that? Oh, no. All right, Uncle Dave and the kids. <laughs> Driving down this. Meanwhile, Uncle Dave and the kids. They're having a beige fest. In their they're all station wearing wagon. beige clothes and they're in their beige station wagon. I don't remember everyone being in beige. Well, that kid's definitely wearing a beige Quebec Montreal t shirt. <laughs> That's not very funny. I don't remember it being beige. It's beige. I thought it was white. It's beige. Maybe you just dream in beige. <laughs> That's the name of my 90s uh, <laughs> alt rock. I dream of beige. <laughs> I dream in beige. Okay, Uncle Dave and the kids. Uh, Dave has to stop the car because he has to pee. Yes, he does. Yeah, there's, you know, there's a night beast lurking around in there. Mm hmm. Yeah, so those kids, you know, follow him and scare the shit out of him because they're. That's right, yeah, they, they jump out and scare Crappy them. little kids. And Uncle Dave's mad, mm -hmm. meanwhile. Night Beast Night appears Beast behind them. Lurking up behind. And they're like, oh no, watch out! Oh, that kid screams really poorly, doesn't he? He's like, ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Uncle Dave dies. Kids run away. Yeah. <laughs> now there's uh, two people making out in the house. Yeah, the first shitty Seinfeld. <laughs> character. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I forgot all about it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Um, they're making out and the woman goes, somebody's running towards the house. I can just hear that. <laughs> yeah. Do you hear that? What? Somebody's running towards the house. She could hear it from a hundred yards away. I'm not even away. necessarily sure what that would sound like unless someone's like really <laughs> clomping up hard. Yeah. <laughs> they're really clomping up hard. You know, like they got I, that hard clomp. How I normally just walk around the house. I clomp up hard, y'all. <laughs> a hard clomper. <laughs> clomp harder, don't clomp. <laughs> uh. Seinfeld goes to check it out. What's the deal with all these <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, he gets tickled to death. What? <laughs> what? Uh, the, the night beast is like, cause he's got his ribs, you know, he's, he's got his fingers <laughs> in his ribs. <laughs> you know, when I think of people with fingers in their ribs, I don't think of tickling Matt. <laughs> Think of gruesome murder. <laughs> oh, when you have your fingers up in someone's ribs inside of them. He tickled them from the inside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, he's. I hate it. I hate that. <laughs> I hate it. All right, great job. He spews chicken nuggets from his chest. <laughs> Oh my god, you sound like a drunk person. <laughs> I've had a lot of coffee and I'm 
kind of tired at the same time. <laughs> That's true. So, yeah. That doesn't happen. <laughs> but the Night Beast does slice him open and poor, yeah. poor guts fall out. Like, um, I'm going to cut to the audio of you saying that chicken nuggets fall out of his chest. I didn't say they fall out of his <laughs> totally chest. said that. I just said they... <laughs> Those look like chicken nuggets. I didn't say it fell out of his chest. Night Beast wants to eat chicken nuggets at Seinfeld. Night Beast wants to eat chicken nuggets at Seinfeld. But I wish they didn't, because now I just see like a bunch of fry guys shooting at someone. Or wait, wait. Not fry guys, but there's little nugget. McDonald's oh, nuggets? Those little, like, puppet nuggets? Yeah, yeah. The puppet nuggets flying out oh, of Oh, I loved those things when I was a kid. I still love those things. Yeah. I love their little mouths. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> Should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> what did I <they> to say? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, we're idiots. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I love their little man. <laughs> Oh. Gross. <laughs> I'm the worst. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, they get killed. Both of them get killed. That couple. Yeah. Oh, and then right, the kids yeah. run away. The kids run off. Now, this is kind of important. It is kind of important because it's an inconsistency in Night Beast behavior. Um, well, they run to the car that they came in, <laughs> and then Night Beast shoots the car. Yeah. And then the whole thing just... It just disappears. disappears. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's when you find out that that is a possibility in this story, yeah. I guess. Which is something that Night Beast can do. Hi! Did you hear us laughing? But he doesn't always do it. You have a runny nose. Hello, Seymour. Oh. Oh, you're gonna sit and stare at me some more. <laughs> That's so fun. That's his favorite thing. <laughs> he loves to do that. He's a good old boy. He is. All right. <clears throat> okay. Now. Now the po now now the posse. Now the posse. Oh man. Uh, everybody's dying. Oh my god, this gunfight is so long. It is really long. how long we're into the movie right now and it's just like it's like 15 minutes tops. this movie took off yeah, running it really hits the ground running <laughs> yeah um, like night beast is fucking mad <laughs> maybe it's because the spacecraft blew up maybe it's because you couldn't possibly t chew anything with those teeth <laughs> he's just upset that's true he must drop more food than he eats <laughs> <laughs> I want to see Night Beats eat those chicken nugget things. <laughs> With All their right. pretty little mouths. <laughs> I didn't say that. I just said I liked them. <laughs> God damn it. Um, pretty much everybody in the posse dies. Except for the sheriff, Lisa, and Seinfeld too, whose name is Jamie. Yep. We have so many Seinfelds in this movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, just the two, really. So... I guess maybe it's been spotted on this farm because now they have to they go to this farm. Right, George Michael's farm. 
he said. <laughs> I think that's what he said. I wasn't. I might have been on my phone when it was said. I don't think. And I was like, did I hear George Michael? I don't and think that's what they said, but if they did, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, Immediately they, have another run in with the Night Beast. They have yes, and they have another shootout. <clears throat> But this is sort of successful because the old man, I guess, is some sort of good marksman and he ends up shooting the Night Beast gun out of the Night Beast hand, but not yeah. before Right, I was going he to, shoots yeah. his son. Yeah, mm. but this is also the scene where they're all hiding behind that stone wall. Yeah. The, and we're just like, why doesn't the Night Beast shoot, shoot the wall the like wall. it did the car and make it disappear? Now, we go to young Tony Clifton's house yeah the mayor <laughs> yeah bert bert he's planning his pool party for the governor so they're trying to get everyone out of town because they're like obviously <clears throat> it's not safe to be here because there's some really angry alien just murdering everyone yeah and so they're trying to uh put an end to this big uh soiree yeah bert can't cancel because the, governor the governor's coming. He's coming. He's, very, he's already very, on his way. Yeah, very important. So, <clears throat> that scene kind of ends. Yeah. And now is one of the best character of the entire film. The true hero of the movie. Yeah, our fucking favorite. <laughs> Steven. Steven. <laughs> Steven is so wonderful. <laughs> Soft-spoken. Sleepy, apathetic doctor. <laughs> <laughs> They're visiting the site of all the deaths. Steven's uh, collecting ashes and he's just checking it out. He's trying to get a... Yeah, because he's like the town doctor. You want me to take some of these ashes and try to analyze them, Sheriff? No, we don't have time for that now. Along yeah. with his mother. Along with his mother. Dr. Cigarettes. Oh. That's a very short scene. Next, we're introduced to Drago. Drago. The 40-year-old juvenile delinquent. <clears throat> yeah, motorcycle riding. Street tough. Yeah. Uh, gang of one. Gang of one. Hey, Cinder. What brings you way out here, away from your cozy little office? So, he has a lot of lonely days, just drinking beer in the woods by himself. Yep. And, like, kicking rocks. And in, cans uh, and just being all around angry and alone. <laughs> he don't take no lip from the man, though. No. He's tough as nails. Sure is, that Drago. Keep moving, Drago, before I run you in for disturbing the peace. Hey, I'm scared to death. Um, okay, so, like, Seinfeld 2 wants to go check on his friend or girlfriend or... I think it's a lady that he's seeing. I think she was only there to show us how how dangerous and bad Drago really is because he he beats the crap out of her and then he comes back and chokes her to death. So. All right, now we're at the pool party for real. Yes. Pool party's happening. There are bikinis everywhere. Mm-hmm. I didn't take like a lot of notes about this because. No, they're kind of a uh, they're establishing that. The governor and the mayor are just kind of like milking the town out of money and yeah they're not great guys right whatever sheriff shows up to the party and then uh seinfeld <laughs> two fires a gun in the air and gets everyone to leave because he said there's poison gas coming and then everyone yeah. scrambles away now we're going to the doctor's uh, office yeah oh milton doctor's office which yeah is a shitty house <laughs> it is a shitty house and they're treating some uh, people that have like gotten hurt yeah in this scuffle with the night beast mm -hmm. um one of them wants liquor i want my whiskey i'll get it for you grabs please don't give him any whiskey yes and that's when milton goes out to get it to get liquor for his buddy or whatever and then that's when the night beast just comes up and like slaps his arm off <laughs> he does he just like swats at yeah, it and, and arm, arm falls off the ground <laughs> And then Milton dies. <laughs> it's a pretty funny death, really. It is. I love all the deaths in this movie. Mm -hmm. um, They're all pretty entertaining. They are. The, the makeup's not great, but it's not terrible. It's not so bad that you notice it so much. It's not like store-bought crap. Yeah. You know, I mean, like, somebody made it. 
Terrific. 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 His arm was cut off. Terrific. Um, and then, uh, obviously Night Beast has arrived at the, the doctor's office, so... People flee. Yeah, people flee, but th there's another, like, battle that happens. Does he kill more people? Probably. Yeah. I mean, it's just kind of what Night Beast does. Terrific. Yeah. But he gets into the office. And, he does. And, uh, Steven and his mother, Ruth... Or AKA hiding. Dr. Cigarettes are. Her name is Ruth? <laughs> it is Ruth. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They are hiding in the basement. Yeah. Um, I put they slowly run away because they do. They slowly run into the basement. Steven does everything slowly. Yeah, it's great. Oh my god. I could watch Steven do everything <laughs> all day nonstop. <clears throat> I love watching Steven. <laughs> And his I giant watching Steve. moon face. <laughs> <laughs> his giant round head. Um, <clears throat> they clearly cannot afford to replace somebody's door. Yeah. So, so they just this door falls apart for like five minutes <laughs> yeah. straight. They keep showing Night Beast just like, eh, and then they don't even show Night Beast doing that. They like do. maybe they show like swatting forward at the camera. Maybe like, and once... then they cut to somebody obviously just throwing strips of perfectly cut wood down yeah. the basement stairs. But that happens for a long time. So they like oh, really, yeah, yeah. There's just lots of little pieces of wood down there. <laughs> Pretty great. And then Steven gets a real bright idea, which is just a joy to watch. <laughs> it is. It is a joy to watch the five minutes of him executing this simple plan. <sighs> it's so great. And like, also, what the hell is Night Beast doing that whole time? Like, it's, what was he preoccupied how by? How big could that basement be? That house was tiny. Yeah. So. Steven would have been long dead in this movie. Like, he should have true. died forever ago, but... His his plan is to electrocute Night Beast. <clears throat> yes. So he he takes a wire out of the washing machine and, and frays it. <clears throat> Excuse me, puts it on the floor. And then he slowly fills a bucket... <laughs> three times. Three times. <laughs> a small bucket with water. Yeah. Dumps it on the floor over the frayed wire. Lures Night Beast and... It works. Yeah. But not... Totally, because Night Beast is still alive, but it does uh, it does buy them the time to escape. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Who cares? All right. Drago's hanging. Well, they bring the body of Jamie's girlfriend to the doctors. Yeah, they discover her dead. Yeah. Um, and then that's they when figure Seinfeld out. too was he gets yeah. all in rage. Drago's hanging out alone in the woods, as he is wont to do. He's just drinking, and out of nowhere, <laughs> Jamie just starts a fight. He just like he like speeds in on that uh, on that dirt, dirt bike. bike, and he just like jumps off the dirt bike yeah. and starts like it's like a half up. a second. Yeah, it's like, great. Draco's just hanging out there, and he's like, Wham, poof. yeah, it's great. Yeah. Sheriff gets wounded. So they're, I guess, out looking for Night Beast or something? Mm -hmm. And then Jack just falls down a hill? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Whoops! Jack! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, he just falls down it. Um, and then Lisa, Lisa has creepy. to Lisa has to take her, take him to her place, I guess, to check out his wound. Mm -hmm. We get lots of Sheriff Jack and his tidy whities here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she just like casually undresses and like, I guess I'm gonna shower. 
I'm gonna get a shower and get a clean uniform. This one's a mess. And he, and he's just like, okay. Oh, okay. And he just like lays down. And he just falls asleep. And then she's just sitting on the bed at some point in a towel <laughs> and he like wakes up and she's just there. Staring at him. Yeah. yeah. And she's like, I guess I should get dressed. <laughs> and then he's like, no. And then the gross people have sex. <laughs> Now we're at the mayor's house. Uh, yeah. They are still getting drunk. Yes. Uh, the mayor well, the has mayor is a... just straight up passed out, right? Oh, that's right. Because yeah. Mary Jane is like... Just sitting there talking sitting there at talking, nothing. He's just like, eh. Uh, behind the mayor is a framed picture of Dracula and some lady. Yeah! That's the best picture. <laughs> we need that picture and we need uh, Buzz's girlfriend. <laughs> we should hang them next to each other. That's true. I we know. Should. That'd be weird. Mm. All right. And then Steven shows up. Yeah. Because he's trying to be helpful like a wonderful little Steven would be. <laughs> uh, there are some really harsh shadows in this scene. Huh. Uh, they're not relevant to anything. I think it's they just... They just bother you? Yeah. They like, bother you. They're really harsh shadows. Yeah. She just keeps talking to Steven. She wants to have a party with Steven. And Steven's just like, God damn it. Yeah. You stupid idiot. I do love... Mary Jane, just stay right there. Jack will be here soon. I gotta go now. So Mary Jane hears something mm. and decides to go into the basement. She's just talking the whole time to no she one. She really is. She I just, don't even remember what she's saying, but just <laughs> yeah. I she's, mean, she's, she's supposedly just drunkenly yeah talking, talking to, to herself. And she's trying to investigate where this noise is coming from in the basement. And then she just opens the door and Nightbeast is just like standing there. <laughs> Hello! I know where she is. Hello! <laughs> so obviously she dies. Yep. Um, and then, so she screams. Mm -hmm. And then our our mayor wakes up. And yeah. He's just like, what is it? Yeah, he's then, in the most moth eaten bathroom. Oh, that bathroom is disgusting! <laughs> There's like butt sweat and like. <laughs> back holes and back holes. <laughs> Old back holes and butt sweat coming down to check out what's mm. going on. Uh gets down to the basement, what happens? Oh, his head gets ripped off. Ripped off. Yeah, it's great. It's uh That's my second favorite thing next to head explosions. Fake heads. Fake heads getting ripped off. Yeah. It's a bad fake head too. My favorite kind. <laughs> All right, so now the uh, our existing people in the town, which is Jack and Lisa, Lisa. and Jamie. Uh huh. Which I do want to talk about Lisa's hair for a real quick second. <laughs> I thought you might. I don't understand it. It's just like really short in one spot up here, and then like like longer all the way around everywhere. It's not a mullet. It's kind of like a female mullet almost. Eh. What do you think, Seymour? <laughs> just. <laughs> um. But, yeah, but I there's don't... just like bits up here that are short. It's not even like consistent. Right. They're, along with the short bits up here are also long bits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't understand. It's like they just chose this tiny little area on the top of her head to cut short because. But not even just little, all of like, it. Wisps. But not even all of it. I don't get it. Maybe yeah, she was in an accident either. in like a carnival, like her it's hair got uh, stuck in some ride. Amazingly, here in Pittsburgh, there are still women walking around with that hairstyle. Uh, I don't know how they find anybody who knows how to do that for Um. All right, how do you guys do? Okay, so yeah, so they all come up with an idea. They have hatched a plan they, to stop the night beast. They want to go get this uh, big coil to electrocute him. Mm -hmm. 30,000 volts worth. Yeah, I don't know exactly where they're at. Um, somewhere in Maryland. They no. said they have to go down to Jessup to get the coil. Okay. And then they went back to the doctor's office because they said uh, he knows that there's, the night beast knows that there's bodies there. He's been there before, so. Well, that's their plan. Yeah. But first, Drago shows up and attacks Lisa, who's attacks waiting Lisa. outside. Yeah. Um, chokes her out. Yeah, you like think for, she's dead for half a minute or something. Right. Uh, she's not. Sheriff uh, slowly comes to her 
aid. Mm -hmm. And he shoots him. Gets the him. shit kicked out of him. He does, but... Jamie shoots him. Oh, Jamie. Oh, Seinfeld shoots him. Yeah, Seinfeld oh, okay. shoots him right in the chest. There's a big squib there. It's yeah. actually not half bad. Yeah. Especially because his shirt was so poorly torn. Oh, right I love there. that. That's like Dolor's thing. He loves weirdly torn <laughs> shirts. Yeah, he does. It's like somebody just grabbed it and like just like yanked <laughs> for a really long time. Yeah. Like back <laughs> until there's just a weird it's just like awkward kind of hole. <laughs> it's like really straight. It's not like jagged or frayed or anything. Yeah. It's, it's as if somebody magicked a section of the shirt away. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> I wizarded. <laughs> I that, wizarded your shirt. <laughs> that patch away from your belly. <laughs> All right. Okay. So they get the coil. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. Seinfeld shoots Drago. Uh, and then they go back to the doctor's office yeah. with the coil. And uh, beautiful Steven baby awkwardly greets everyone. <laughs> I'm sure as hell glad you're here. Krebs is driving me nuts. Not like only a Steven baby can. <laughs> and they got this coil and all it is is just like a, a plastic bucket with some horns on it. Yeah. This is a goofy looking thing. It's probably a real thing, but I don't know. Who knows? Uh, that, uh, no. <laughs> no. No chance. No. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that thing was. This is also when Steven says... Terrific. Terrific. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Aww. Terrific. I love him so much. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, there's that random scared busted guy just walking around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Who is he? I don't know. Where did he come we from? We thought he was there just to die, but turns out not. No. So. Okay, so they get a they get this plan there. You know, wire up from old bucket horn to a tree. Mm hmm. Well, they wired up a whole bunch, so they're gonna lure Night Beast into it and electrocute him. And you know, some shit goes down, and uh, unfortunately, the Beast ends up tossing Steven. And Steven dies. Sadly, <laughs> yeah, Steven is no more. Steven should have been the hero of this movie, not fucking old Disco Stew. <laughs> old busted Disco Stew. <laughs> yeah. Too bad. All right. Uh, yeah, and so that uh, weird, crazed-looking man ends up shooting Night Beast, right? Or something like that. Yeah, well, they're... Uh, they so have he drops all that, Steven. Yeah, they have all that armature that they're, like, coiling around. It's, it looks like armature wire. I don't know. Yeah. Jamie makes the sacrifice play. Yeah. Get clear, for Christ's sake! I can't! It's pulling it loose! Hit her, Ruth! No! Yes, he does. The, uh, the wire isn't quite long enough for their purposes. You know, he could have just he, strung he it becomes around. the bridge between them. He could have just strung it around one of the other wires. Yeah, I know. He didn't have to do that. Well, he did, and he's done. Yeah, he died. But it works. And it, they... it electrocutes Night Beats to the point of digitally exploding. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. Hey, that's the end? That's um, the end of Night Beast. Sheriff and Lisa kind of hug, look down at the wreckage of what the night has been. Mm -hmm. Camera pans up, credits roll. This is technically two nights of Night Beast. Yes, that's true. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. yeah. I would recommend this movie to anyone and everyone. I love this movie. Uh, it is... Ten stars. Hilarious. The characters are odd. Yeah. <laughs> Steven's the best. He's been in other movies of his. I know that because we saw him. Yeah, he was the son in... Galaxy Invader. Is he the one with a rip shirt? No, the main it's... character, the the patriarch of the household, is the guy with the rip shirt. Damn it! But yeah, the drunk. him and Steven go around together with that uh, whatever it is that they find in Galaxy Invader, the magic space rock or whatever. But that's a story for another time. It is. Yes. One is this, and the other is this. 
This will be our our thing now. <laughs> fans uh, fans eh. can do this to us when they see us on the street. No, we don't have any of this. <laughs> What's that? Someone's running towards my house. Better go on the porch and see what that noise is. Oh! Okay. Oh, oh God, I love their tiny little mouths. <laughs>